Okay, now we have the audio side from USL. So take us away and show us your new product. Okay. What we have on this side is the existing JSD80D, oh, sure. which is our 35 millimeter analog and AES-EBU SPDIF digital processor for digital cinema. This processor has been around for about four or five years now, and it will do 35 millimeter film. It will hook into a digital server for digital cinema, again, through the AES-EBU and the SPDIF inputs on the backside. We are a licensee of Dolby Laboratories. For alternative content, we can run 5.1 Dolby Digital Audio through this, again, for alternative content. We have been asked by many of our dealers and customers out in the field to strip out the 35 millimeter options out of the processor and go and do only digital cinema, hence the reason the new JSD100. The JSD100 itself will have coaxial 1 and 2 with a toss link and a 16 channel input all in digital domain running through the Dolby chip. Uh, options 1 and 2 which are programmable by the end user so you can set it up for any format that you need to use it for. And then we have our analog 8 channel pass through and obviously non-sync auxiliary and microphone inputs. Now if you would hold this for me. Yep. I'd like to show on the back side here where the outputs are, this plate is removable. And we've done that because the audio channels have not really been defined at this point. We don't know what it's going to be in a year. Is yeah. it going to be 12 channels? Yeah, is it going to be 16 right. channels? Is it going to be yeah. 24? Just so DCI can have up to 12 um, channels in the, in, the, in the specification. So you could have up to chap, uh, like 5.1. We may go up to 12 something. So we don't know yet. So Yeah, th so this plate, again, will be removable in the future or um, if the, the cinema decides they like it just like this, or if they decide they want to go to 12 or 16 channels, instead of replacing the whole processor, they just replace the panel. Okay. We have a memory, flash memory inside of here, in case uh, settings are, are lost for some reason, we have a power out, and you can just pull that right out, put it into a new processor, plug it in, and everything is retained. Oh, wow, that's a very good feature. It's the same feature on the JSD80. Um, it does come in very handy. It saves a technician a lot of time and if there has been a catastrophe or brownout. Now, um, in terms of automation, how, how do you talk to this? Can you, I imagine you've got Ethernet type automation. Like Absolutely. Um, and traditional? And traditional also, yes. So it's existing technology grandfathered in plus the, the newer Toslink. Fantastic. And now, I imagine this is a lower cost version of this. Absolutely. So very competitive unit basically. Absolutely. It's uh, designed again, we will have competitors on this. We know that QSE is working on a processor. We know Dolby Laboratories is coming out with their 750 and I'm sure there'll be others. So we definitely have designed this at a lower cost version of the JSD80. As far as what the actual cost numbers are, once we go into production I'll have that for you. Cool. Thank you very much.